Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called thiamine, and thiamine is also known as its brand name, which is bataxin, but most commonly out in the EMS field, you'll hear it referred to as thiamine. So it does fall under the class of vitamins, and it is specifically vitamin B1. So how does it work in the body? It combines with ATP to make thiamine pyrophosphate, and thiamine pyrophosphate is vital for carbohydrate metabolism. So if there's a thiamine deficiency, the body is very, very sensitive to that. Its indications are going to be coma of an unknown origin delirium tremens, chronic alcoholism, or signs of malnourishment. As always, before we get into our dosages, be sure to abide by your local protocol and always stay within your scope of practice. So the dose for thiamine is 100 milligrams slow IV or IO push, and it can be given also intramuscularly. With your pediatric dose, it's going to be 10 to 25 milligrams slow IV or IO and also intramuscular. Your contraindications, there's really not any in the EMS setting as long as it is indicated. So your adverse reactions can include dyspnea, nausea, vomiting, anxiety, respiratory failure, and vasodilation. And your drug interactions, there's really no known serious drug interactions known with thiamine. And how is it supplied? It is supplied typically in a 100 milligram in one ml vial. Okay, a few side notes about thiamine. Just be aware that if you do give large IV dosages, it may cause respiratory difficulties. Also hypotension and vasodilation. Those are just possibilities when giving this medication, especially through the IV. Onset is typically very rapid. You have to consider the route as well. Was it given IV, IO, IM? Also, learn how to recognize the signs and symptoms of delirium tremens, which can be as simple as shakiness and confusion to more serious symptoms like seizures, extreme hypertension, and also tachycardia. And lastly, in your known alcoholics, make sure you administer thiamine before administering dextrose. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol, professional medical advice, or formal education. I will talk to you next Monday. Bye!